Hello guys and welcome to another episode of, well, actually no, it's not another episode, it is a first episode of American Truck Simulator. Um, this is my uh, Peterbilt, um, I'm driving the uh, Peterbilt 389, I've also got the uh, sleeper cab in the back there, um, I also have the oversized load on, I don't normally um, have it on for these kind of loads, but I will this time, um, just because, you know, everything is different. <clears throat> this is a bit longer than a normal, you know, truck, but, you know, it, it's, a, it's a fuel tanker or wherever we're coming from. It looks like a fuel tanker because we're uh, coming from this area. Now, guys, we are going from Bakersfield south side to uh, Bakersfield north side this episode. So, guys, it is going to be a very short trip. Um, I do apologize about that, but because it is the first episode, we are going to make it short. Then the next episode will make it a little bit longer, change the run, make sure it's a, a good run for you guys. But only if you guys like it. Now, if you like, the more you like the videos, the more I will continue doing the videos. Um, because that is really what I'm lo uh, looking for, is that your support is there. Um, so I hope that you guys appreciate it, and I hope that you, you guys like the videos. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight into it, and uh, let's get heading off to it. It is raining at the moment, so uh, we are going to be having a little bit of a time. I have driven a 3,000... Oh, no, no, hold on. Yeah, yeah, no, I've driven 11,551 kilometers with this a truck. Um, it is currently apparently 37 degrees uh, 37 degrees Celsius, and it is I've got a thousand just over a thousand liters of fuel, which is going to give me 3,000 kilometers in distance. Now, um, these are all the uh, lovely controls. Um, I do have the on-screen nav there. Um, it is raining. I do have all the mirrors, um, as you can see. Um, also got the, uh, if I can see it, yeah, there we go. The uh, cab in the back there, as you can see, um, with the sleeper and all that. So you can see all that. So and let's uh, get on to it. This is the uh, lovely truck that I'm driving. Um, of course, I've got company colors on this um, at the moment because I drive for a company called Bearded Bros. Uh, I drive with them. I've been driving driving with them for ETS as well, uh, the Ameri uh, Euro Truck Simulator, um, but I haven't really mentioned them because I just... No, I, I don't have company colors on that, um, that actual simulator. This is company colors. Um, we are a black, red, and white company. I, I added the blue to make the flames look a little bit better, but uh, you know, that what they, they say. <clears throat> so uh, let's get on and uh, get out of here. Um, I currently am using my uh, lovely Xbox controller that I use for most of my games, um, and I hope that you guys are having a lovely, a wonderful day, like always. Um, should I say guys and girls? Um, I've got to quit saying guys because of of unfortunate uh, events of uh, sexualities, uh, saying that apparently I am being sexist in my videos because of uh, lovely me saying guys uh, only. Um, so I do apologize that, and I hope that you enjoy it. Um, oh, there is a ute flying at 80 kilometers per hour, I bet. <clears throat> now, I do have my speedo set to... Um, I normally do have it up, um, there we go, kilometers and cruise control, because that is 89 kilometers in, um, 80 kilometers, yeah, for the speed limit. So we're going to stick to the speed limit, of course, and we're going to uh, put that in the cruise control when we get to it, but uh, in the meantime, we're going to cruise up to that speed, and uh, then we're going to lock it in. Um, I am a little bit over the road only because I'm trying to concentrate on what I'm doing, but uh, also trying to make sure I can lock that 89 in. 
<clears throat> but also, guys, I hope that you're having a wonderful day, night, wherever you may be. Um, and I hope that you like these episodes, because the episodes are only brought to you by you guys. You guys are the ones that help me make these videos and make them actual possible to go up. Now, the rain has gone. I can turn those oh, lovely wind wipers off. Wind wipers. Windscreen wipers, should I say. Uh, I've got to, uh, got to slow down up here and uh, get onto the highway. I'm coming in front of your car. I apologize for that car. Thank you for not hitting me. I did not actually see that car. That car blended in with the ground. I thought that actually was just a bunch of ground there. So, I apologize car. I did not mean to hit you at all and there's nothing there. Yep, you can turn the indicator off now. <clears throat> <clears throat> So, guys, I hope you're having a, a wonderful episode. I also uh, hope that you're hearing me fine, as well as he hearing the game fine. I currently do have a, a fan going, but also not just that, but I uh, have recently also moved a er uh, different area again. I know, i got to start moving, but um, I, I, I keep having to move uh, to different areas to be able to do my recordings, unfortunately things are a bit noisy at home at the moment so it's a bit difficult um, we've got a truck broken down over the other side no they're doing road works over that side right um, so guys I hope you can hear me and are enjoying the episodes that I do produce because a lot of them recently have been because I've been moving around and of course like I've said um, I do have a couple of weeks in advance videos, but uh, I, I have been uh, moving around recently a lot, um, so I need to also consider that. Um, this truck is going a bit slower than what I was expecting it to be. Whoops. I had to slow down to 48, and I just wanted to get off the highway so that you didn't hit me. Um, so, guys and girls, Everybody that's watching my video, thank you for coming along, watching the video. Please don't forget to like, dislike, comment, share, subscribe. And here is the California Highway Patrol. I actually implemented those Highway Patrol cars into the game uh, with the mod that's currently on the Steam Workshop. Um, I actually really like their that that mod. Um, I've also got the real companies, company names and logos, on uh, mod on as well. Um, I actually kind of like that. It comes quite in handy. Unfortunately, they do not work during the online mode. So uh, when I'm online, I'm actually having to switch those mods off and then turning them back on for single player. I've been playing a lot online though, guys. Um, as you probably can see. Um, May, in May, um, I've got a couple of episodes with online episodes for Euro Truck and American Truck Simulator, um, having that there are online episodes, um, and then there's a couple there that's going to be offline and single player. Um, I stopped at after distance. Um, but uh, guys, I hope. Oh, and girls, I hope that you're having fun, um, having a, a good May, and uh, that uh, you all enjoyed the, if you're in Australia, the long weekend, um, as May Day was just on Monday, so uh, that was yesterday. Guys, I also hope that you guys are having a, a wonderful week so far as it has only just really started uh, today can, can you can we go a little bit faster mate we, we can get the speed up or is there a red light up ahead no there's just a bunch of cars up ahead okay um oh no I'm doing the speed limit that's why <coughs>
no, it is a red light. Um, but anyway, guys, <coughs> and girls, and everybody else, extraterrestrials, I don't know. I, I'm ready to, to, to call everybody extraterrestrials, but that would be very, very wrong. But, at the same time, we are extraterrestrials altogether, because the animals were here first. Well, technically, if you want to go back to ancient days, the actual dinosaurs were here first. We apparently made them become extinct because of the meteor. Um, and then apparently some uh, somehow we got here. So uh, we, we're technically extraterrestrials because we invaded the uh, the dinosaurs before they, whilst they were here. So I feel sorry for the dinosaurs. Um, why? Oh, right. It merges into one lane. Yeah, you can come over, mate. No worries, mate. Um, but, uh, hoping, uh, hoping, hoping, yes, it, that's a new word, guys, added to the dictionary, and no, it's not. Guys, I hope that you are enjoying this, and you're not at work watching this, and can you not pull out in front of me, you idiot? Um, but guys, I've... Recently, also, uh, over the weekend, as you would have seen on my Sunday's important announcement, very short important announcement, is that I finally got my motorbike license. I passed my test on Saturday. Um, unfortunately, that night, I went riding by myself and to a friend's place, and five people already wanted to kill me, pretty much. Um, there was three people... Oh, uh, well, yeah, three or four people, something like that, I can't remember exactly now. Though, <clears throat> three or four people... Oh, I missed the exit. I, I I needed to get onto the highway. Okay. We need to focus on where we're going and what we're doing, instead of following other trucks. Um, I guess I'm going to have to continue down here a little bit, and then do uh, Yui. Actually, you know what, I'm just going to pull over here. I'm gonna start doing it. No, I can't do it. It's a double line. Never mind. Sorry, mate. Thank you for letting me back in. I'm going to be taking off very slow because, you know, I'm a truck. But, um, <clears throat> yeah. I already had three or four people try to kill me by, uh, one, two, two or three, something like that. Wanted to get too close up my backside while stopped at a, a traffic light. Um,. Another one wanted to, uh, two actually no, two of them wanted to tailgate me. The one, uh, the last one, wanted to, you know, ram me off the road as well at the same time because they were just being idiots. They flashed their high beams, um, and then pointed the middle finger at me. Um, I was doing perfectly the speed limit, and yet they wanted to do over the speed limit, and I just didn't see the point. Uh, I got, uh, there's a little turn, it looks like it up here. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, apparently I can do a U-turn up ahead. I really need to look at this map in future. Yeah, there's, there's a petrol station I can turn into and do a rocket U-turn. Thanks, buddy. I really appreciate some of these car drivers, but uh, back to the uh, motorbike issues. Um, I was having a lot of issues with the uh, motorbike as well because I, <laughs> we all do it. We we have all done it. Motorcyclists um, stole the bike. We I stole the bike at. A traffic light because someone was up my ass so close that I was more fixated and worried that they were going to run up my ass even more <coughs> that uh, yeah I uh, stalled it and uh, they nearly actually hit me they were only half a meter away or already 
um, they actually nearly tapped the back of my bike when they the, when the light went green and I started to go seconds after because I stalled it. So people they just don't know how much room to give motorcyclists these days. Um, and when I was told by my instructor that you know think about when you're riding that everyone is out to kill you. I thought, ah, oh, yeah, no, that's all a, a joke and a, a fun th sentence to say. No, guys, if you guys ride a motorcycle, or anybody rides a motorcycle, let me know, because the the amount of things that I've been told, I didn't think it was true. Until I actually got on my motorcycle by myself, and people wanted to kill me. I felt like someone wanted to actually run me off the road and kill me. Uh, I was just that scared and uh, paranoid and I nearly hit that guy. Come on! Let's go! Ah, oh, bugger. I'm pulling out. I don't get where you're going. Oh, thanks, mate. Thank you. Um... <clears throat> now I'm gonna get back up to the speed limit. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. Like, things were, uh, constantly, constantly going bad for me at that time. Because people just wanted to ram me off the road or, or do other things. And, and, yeah. It was horrible. But, uh, guys, that's, I'm not trying to, to disorientate or, or tell you not to go for your license, for your motorbike license, if you're going for it. Guys, otherwise, it is fun. It is, uh, the three major things that I was told to be, uh, uh, is doing, is have fun. You can't be safe, because it is a high-risk activity, so you, that's not one. But, be fun, uh, be fun. Have fun. Go out riding, get back safe. One piece. Guys, I did follow those three rules. I got to my uh, friend's place in one piece. I had fun riding my motorbike. And, most of all, I rode. I, I was doing a great job at riding. Um, <clears throat> I, I, well, I thought, let's say that. A lot of people didn't think I was probably doing the right thing, but anyway, and that's probably why I was going to get hit or killed. Um, but yeah, no, a lot of fun things to do with a bike. You don't have to do. So a lot of a lot of people say, "Oh, do a wheelie or or something." And that's why you've got your bike. No, it's not. It's to have fun. If you have fun whilst riding your motorbike go for it but guys other than that it was it was a good ride everyone had uh, I had fun definitely and I just hit the guardrail sorry boss didn't mean to uh, you know hit the front of the tail bar uh, the, the, the bull bar didn't mean to you know add that little bit of extra damage and uh, scrapes you know but guys girls people of all ages. If you're going for your motorbike license, be safe. I know it's not an actual rule that you can follow by because it is a high-risk activity, but from a, my point of view, being safe about yourself, trust nobody. Trust nobody at all. Feel like everybody's out to get you and that yeah, you're gonna die if someone, uh, if if you have someone next to you. Well, not really think that, but you know, feel like everyone's out to get you. More like it. Don't have the fear of dying. Don't have the fear of falling off. Don't have the fear of anything. I I do have those fears, but it's it's starting to reduce because I've gotten used to it. Now, where do you want this this damn trailer? You want it over there? Okay. But, um... Yeah. Like... It, it's... It's a great activity to do. 
Wait, whereabouts? Over here? Oh, over there. Okay, no worries. We can do this. The guys, girls, everybody, I really, in a way, I kind of recommend going, uh, getting your motorbike license. But if there's an idiot on the road, just ignore them. You're out there for yourself and to have fun. Hello, container box, how can I help? Um, you're not there to hinder people, you're not there to, to cause injury to other people. But, yeah. Guys, the more that I'm talking about motorcycles, I feel like I'm disorientate everybody from actually getting a motorbike. I'm not trying to do that. I apologize if I am apparently doing that. Um, yeah, I don't want you having that. I feel like I'm gonna... Did I hit the front? Yeah, oh, I hit the front there. No, we're not gonna skip the parking. But, uh, yeah, it... Well, that is very close. I am very surprised that I can... I'm, I'm parking this truck right now. Um, okay, let's get out very quickly check that it's going to be all right um, nope I'm gonna have to bring this trailer a bit forward and then reverse it in yep I can do that I'm sure I can do that because yeah it shows me in the tower uh, like in that area I, I'm going to be fine so uh, let's get back into the truck and drive forward a bit now also guys I wish you all the best with your trucking adventures as well if you do truck ooh. I am scraping past this. Okay, I hit something. I don't know what it was, but I'm going to get out very quickly. Oh! Okay, yeah, definitely not. I'm gonna do this very quickly, just fix it up outside. There we go. No, I'm gonna drive forward more. I know a lot of people, they, they don't actually, you know, want to do it this way, but I'm gonna do it this way very quickly. Have faith in me, guys. I know that... Nope, I'm not going to let that in there very quickly, like that. Okay, I'd rather do this very quickly. Hold on. If I can't get it in there, I will definitely skip it. 
which will be the first time I'm skipping a load because I don't normally skip parking loads. Uh, that's my weakness of and fear skipping a load and parking a load, should I say. Um, sorry boss, I'm gonna scrape the side of the truck very quickly. <sighs> I did not mean that, but anyway. Shit happens. Doesn't it? What do you guys think? Does does shit happen? Because I feel like it, it does. Guys, I hope that you have a, had a wonderful time watching my episode today um, and seen me fail. Um, hopefully I can redeem myself in my next episode. But guys, I hope that you uh, have had a wonderful, lovely day um, and I've made it more enjoyable and that uh, you, you've yeah, had a wonderful day. Guys, thanks for watching. Remember, don't forget to uh, like the video, dislike the video. Uh, like the video if you liked it, sorry. Uh, hit the dislike button if you disliked it. If you uh, want to share it with your friends, go ahead, share it with your friends. Otherwise, um, you know, hit the subscribe button. Um, otherwise, comment your, your suggestions down below. Uh, we finally uh, parked our truck and having the oh, best time of our lives because we finally parked it. Guys, we've uh, finally delivered. We uh, hope that you have a, a, a wonderful, wonderful, lovely day. And guys, remember, take it easy.